So in this question, we're given a circle C, which has the equation x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 10y is equal to k, where k is a constant. For part A of this question, we're asked to find the coordinates of the centre of the circle C. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get the equation of the circle into a form where we can read the centre from it. So to do this, we'll rewrite the equation, but in terms of, so we can group together the x terms and the y terms. So we'll have x squared minus 4x plus y squared plus 10y is equal to k. And then what we want to do next is we want to complete the square. So we can do that on x squared minus 4x, and we can do that on y squared plus 10y. So we can do this as follows. So we have to complete the square of x squared minus 4x. We have x minus half of that term inside the bracket. So we'll have x minus 2. Then we square that. And then we subtract this value, the negative 2. We square that. And then we have that will be minus 4. And then we do the same for the y terms, which gives us, we add that on, then we have y, then half of 10 is 5. So y plus 5 squared, and then 5 squared, 25. So we subtract 25, and that is equal to k. So we could now rearrange and get this equation here into the kind of form we know it with the radius on the other side. But all we're asked to do here is to find the coordinates of the center C. So what we can do is we know we can read the coordinates from the x minus 2 and the y plus 5, those terms. So that means that the x coordinate is going to be 2 and the y coordinate is going to be negative 5. Always remembering we swap the signs when we go from inside the bracket to outside the bracket there. So that means the coordinates of C are going to be 2, negative 5. And that's us completed part A. So we can see here there was uh, two marks available. So we have uh, received our first mark for uh, knowing to complete the square. And then our second mark is received for uh, stating the coordinates in coordinate form or in x and y form as done here. So in summary, the second mark is for going from the equation of the circle to the coordinates. So now we'll take a look at part B of the question where we're asked to state the range of possible values for k. So we first must think about what is the radius? So the radius is a measurement, and we know that we cannot have a, a negative uh, a negative radius, and we know that the radius can't really be zero either. Therefore, we know that the radius is going to be greater than zero. So now we can take a look at the equation of the circle that we started to form from part A of the question. And uh, let us just rewrite it here, but we can tidy it up a bit and negative 4, negative 25 is equal to negative 29. So we, the, the new equation of the circle will be x minus 2 squared plus y plus 5 squared negative 29 is equal to k. So what we can do now is uh, add 29 to both sides and we now have this equation which is the equation of our circle. So we know that the radius can now be read off this part of our circle. And we know that that must be greater than or equal to zero. So we can then say that, so this now means that k plus 29 is going to be greater than zero, which means that rearranging this, k is greater than negative 29. So this means that we conclude that the range of possible values for k, looking back to the question, is going to be k is greater than negative 29. 
So that's our solution. Uh, we look back and we see that this question is worth two marks. So we'll be, we will get the first mark for deducing that the right hand side of our equation must be greater than zero. And then our second mark will be for concluding with the correct answer, k is greater than negative 29.